Our students, the students with special educational needs, do not want to be just subject of charity. They want to be part of the community. I don't just want a job. I want a career in something. I have a good um, uh, cooking and I have a good English and maths. I've been doing the job for a year and I'm really enjoying it. Our school's mission statement is enjoyment, achievement and well-being for all. And we believe that those three go together so that um, we arrange activities and we plan the day so that children have things that they enjoy, that make sense to them, that motivate them to learn. We believe that every child can achieve whatever their starting point. So achievement might be um, a very profoundly disabled young person um, following a light for the first time. It may be somebody that finds movement quite difficult, enjoying a PE lesson and being able to um, move freely and confidently or it may be our young people taking exams and joining Project Search and getting a job but we believe that with the right support from skilled staff and committed staff every single child can make progress. There's one child in particular who who does stand out to me and her name is Jada when she first came to the school she really lacked confidence and since that time the progress that she has made has been amazing to the point where she can now do things that I never thought that she would ever do. Uh, we start teaching life skills for, uh, from a very early age. Uh, we start with uh, travel training, uh, going to Tesco. We support our students to become uh, as more independent as possible by um, ensuring they are emotionally able to cope with the challenging situations of their day-to-day -day lives. There you go, well done. Thank, Thank you, you darling, you've really done an excellent job with that baby. At Hornbeam Academy the whole ethos of the school is to promote the independence of young people. So one of the ways that we do this is with our BTEC programmes. Um, for example we have BTEC in, um, construction, we offer other BTEC such as hair and beauty, childcare, retail, media studies. We work very closely with the local authority to create opportunities for our young people to participate in work experience programs um, and these enable them to kind of build on their life skills, build on their employability skills, just to give them more confidence when they do venture out in the future. Last year I did work experience uh, with the Disabled Go. The task was is to do a survey uh, different sorts of shops in, a, in Selborne Walk and yeah, to, to see if there's access to disabled, disabled access. What skills I've gained, numeracy adding up the total. Yep. And organisational. Yep. Uh, and self-confidence, a bit of self-esteem. One of the things that's been fantastic about working with the local authority, we've been working together now for about 18 months, slightly less than, and during that time we've been able to dramatically expand our provision for foundation students. One of the great projects has been working with Tottenham uh, on an internship programme for the students to develop employability skills so that they can go on to do, in some cases, um, voluntary work, in some cases employed work. I did my work placement here at Spurs. Since then, I've been coming here Monday to Thursdays, working on views from 11 to 5, and um, it was really, really good. The programme is for everybody, and I would love everybody to join this programme, because it will help you build your skills, your competence, and you do a work placement here anywhere. So another project that we're working with, which is with the local authority, is on a social, developing a social enterprise in bike maintenance. So taking bikes that people have abandoned or which need maintenance and, de and repairing them and making them ready for resale. So these students are doing something that is around sustainability, developing their own employment skills, and it's done in conjunction with the local authority. 
who have financed the um, specialists to come in and work with the students to develop those skills. I started to come to the running club because I was inspired four years ago uh, in the Olympic Stadium by my father. I really like coming to Eton Manor Running Club because it has given me confidence uh, to, uh, to, to speak, uh, speak to people. It helps me with my self-esteem. I would like to see people um, with people with disabilities uh, feel welcome and inclusive. Help me link between the between the really and more school and the council that I'm uh, working with the council to make your club like Eden Manor is accessible for young disabled people. Well, well with that coming to the lines, it means that he's not isolated, you know, he's coming out into the community, he's mixing with people, you know, the social integration helps a lot with him and I can see the improvements, you know, and um, yeah, he's part of a, the community now. La Porta, or La Porta, is really, really important. I got, I got out of people and helping people out. I'm happy it's driving home. We have had something about 35, 37 students here at Whips Cross, um, of which all these have done three rotations. Uh, within different departments. Once they have done their first placement, actually add a, a phenomenal amount to the, to the hospital and to our workforce. 75, 85% of these students that have been here have all now got full-time paid employment. So what we've seen is um, Project Search candidates and being placed across a range of clinical areas from radiology to pathology to acute wards and departments. One person that sticks out um, hugely for me is um, a young lady by the name of Halima. Um, so Halima's journey has been fantastic. Um, she has achieved so much. She found her niche um, as a, a ward housekeeper on one of my wards called B3. Um, she had the dedication and the support from the ward sister up there. Um, and eventually Halima was successful in obtaining um, a substantive role as a housekeeper on B3. Um, to see her come out of her shell, to the warm smile that I get every time I walk onto that ward um, and to see how clean that ward is and her pride in her uniform um, and her professionalism is absolutely admirable. I like helping patients, I like talking to the patients, the, um, I like helping the staff. It was the ward clerk on the ward. It's very challenging because people are going through emotional situations and she's very calm, she's very confident and she's able to multitask and does all that with um, a cheerful disposition. I get notes ready for patients that are going to come in. Um, I help out um, point admitting patients on the system. I book appointments or send referrals to outpatients to book appointments. I can speak four fluent languages, um, so if there's any patients that have any problem speaking to doctors, nurses, um, so I can translate for them. So when James started, I remember uh, this corridor is one of the longest in Europe, and he's taken me about 15 minutes to walk from here to Matoni, which is the other side. 
And after James started, I noticed it was taking me double the time because everyone would stop me and say, what a wonderful guy James is, what an impact he has on their day each and every day. And it really made me smile and made me feel really good. James has came in, I want him to meet the business needs. He actually exceeds the business needs and that's amazing. Anything else, sir? And on, from further to that, we got Jess involved as well. She came on board, fun enough to help out because we were a little bit short staffed for a couple of days. From her training with us, over she did six weeks with us, she got a job working as an ice cream seller in a pop-up cinema. And then after that, she came back and she realised that she really loved what she'd done. And that passion came through in the way she worked. And on the back of that, she got a job with us and she's working full-time now and she really does really, really well. One of the things that's been fantastic about working with the local authorities, they've been willing to be flexible, to find ways of going, to find the money, to find the expertise, so that we can develop jointly pathways within the community to enable people to live and become part of the wider community, so that their lives become wider and we benefit from their life experiences.